India has made ambitious commitments towards its nuclear power to aid green energy transition. But are they enough? Hello and welcome to The Hindu. I'm Priyali Prakash and you're watching Tipping Point, our weekly climate news show. In today's episode, we'll take a look at India's recent commitments towards nuclear energy. The 2025 budget includes an ambitious plan to elevate the country's nuclear power capacity with a target of 100 gigawatts by 2047. This target is in line with the country's ambitious green energy transition and emissions reduction effort. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman presented the union budget for the 2025-26 financial year on February 1st in Parliament. One significant highlight was the allocation of 20,000 crore rupees to develop at least five small modular reactors by 2033. Nuclear energy mission for Vikasit Bharat. Development of at least 100 gigawatt of nuclear energy by 2047 is essential for our energy transition efforts, for an active partnership with the private sector towards this goal. Amendments to the Atomic Energy Act and the Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage Act will be taken up. A nuclear energy mission for research and development of small modular reactors with an outlay of 20,000 crore will be set up. At least five indigenously developed small modular reactors will be operationalized by 20 to 33. Small modular reactors or SMRs have a capacity of approximately up to 300 megawatts per unit, according to the International Atomic Energy Agency. SMR units are compact and can be manufactured in plants and transported to the power generation site instead of requiring an extensive setup because land availability is a big challenge in scaling nuclear power. India is committed to reaching net zero emissions by 2070 and nuclear power is expected to play a big role in achieving this target. Nuclear power is one of the cleanest forms of energy and is mostly free of emissions. Other forms of renewable energy like solar or hydro are also comparable when it comes to emissions, but nuclear power supplies more electricity. It offers a cleaner alternative to meet India's energy needs, which are currently mostly fulfilled by coal, but it does not come without its own set of challenges. Waste management, safety and financing are some of the major concerns related to nuclear power. Upfront costs associated with a nuclear power plant are usually very high. Construction also takes a long time. Both nuclear fuel and nuclear waste can potentially expose people to radiation, raising concerns about safety. Accidents like the one in Chernobyl in 1986 and Japan's Fukushima in 2011 are still fresh in people's minds and are usually brought up in conversations related to concerns regarding nuclear power. India has also seen protests against nuclear energy in the past, like the one against the Kudankulam nuclear power plant in Tamil Nadu due to radiation threats. To facilitate expansion of India's nuclear power capacity, the government plans to amend key legislations, including the Atomic Energy Act and the Civil Liability for Nuclear Damage Act. These amendments are designed to encourage private sector participation towards achieving the 100 gigawatt nuclear energy goal, as announced by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. The government wants to address legal hurdles to create a more conducive environment for both domestic and international stakeholders towards increasing India's nuclear capacity. However, the SMR plan, as outlined in Finance Minister's speech, has a catch. As clarified in a report by the Hindu's Deputy Science Editor Jacob Koshi, the budget makes no financial commitment towards the reactors specifically for the upcoming financial year. The Department of Atomic Energy expects to spend around 24,049 crore rupees in 2025-26, which is similar to the 24,450 crore rupees it is expected to spend by March 2025. This is less than the 25,882 crore rupees it spent in 2023-24. During his recent trip to the United States, Prime Minister Narendra Modi met US President Donald Trump and the leaders committed to cooperation in the field of civil nuclear energy, apart from oil and gas. The nuclear energy mission is a decisive step towards a future powered by green energy. The successful realization of this vision will, however, depend on productive policy implementation and technological innovation, while clearly addressing environmental and public concerns.
and now we'll briefly look at other important climate stories that made headlines in the past week. One major news development in the climate space this week has been the possible rollback of some of European Union's green policies to help industries. In 2019, the European Union came up with the Green Deal to achieve the target of zero net emissions by 2050 and to make Europe the first climate neutral continent. However, with Donald Trump's return to the world stage as the United States President and his push to economic growth through fossil fuel power, the European Union is considering rethinking its policies to keep up. The rollback is expected to be announced later on Wednesday. We'll discuss this further in our episode next week. Another crucial update this week was a study published in the Nature Journal on 19 February 2025 which found that worldwide, glaciers lost around approximately 273 gigatons in mass annually from 2000 to 2023. The loss was more rapid in the second half, which continued from 2012 to 2023, as compared to the first half. The researchers also noted that glaciers are an indicator of human-induced climate change and their melting can cause hazards like flooding. That's all from this week's Tipping Point. Thank you for watching. If you found this discussion insightful, Please subscribe to The Hindu.